My character on the show is uh, Liz Trainer, and she is the assistant district attorney. So not only does she sort of have a, a nice little career rank over Jack, who's played by Colin, but um, there's also a little bit of an emotional rank um, pulling happening because uh, they used to date Jack and Liz, and she's, for him, sort of the one that, that got away. And uh, I think that I think that in the foreseeable future we may find out that he could be that for her too. I don't know, it might be a will they, won't they. When we had our chemistry read um, for Fox for testing for the network, it, we just, it's sort of like falling in love in a different way when you just click with somebody and that's effortless and you just, um, you know, will be, there will be, lighting setups between takes and we'll have 10 minutes of downtime and I will start singing a ridiculous misogynistic rap song and he will know all the words and finish it for me. He gets me, he completes me. Um, and I like to think I do the same. So it's been really fun, the two of us. It's really cool the way that it's been written. It is a comedy but um, if Brad and Colin are the funny men, the women are the straight men and we are pulling rank left and right on these guys. So it's been really cool for Deanna and I to sort of talk about not being taken seriously as women for so long and then finally being able to really land somewhere where we feel like, let's get to work. <laughs> like get busy with this and show people what we can really do. It's been really empowering. It definitely uh, creeps women out and fascinates them. I, I don't think it would be as creepy though if, if it wasn't um, the behavior behind the mustache. I think he's sort of really feeling it and, and um, <laughs> allowing it to manifest itself fully. It has its own, its own aura when it comes into a room um, and he's embracing it fully. It's delicious and scary, really scary.